Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a blue shirt day. You know what that means? It means work. And I'm going to pin my hair back because, you know, it just stays in my face. My hair, it just, the way it grows, it just stays in my face. So we're just going to take a little clip if this will hold. Clip that back. We're going to tuck this behind the ear. Hopefully that will stay. I'm already moisturized. You guys know what I use, Drench and Quench. Um, today I'm going to keep using the Pores No More Luminizer Primer. This came in the BoxyCharm. I had been using it when we first got it out of the BoxyCharm and I think it was breaking me out. I stopped using it. The little breakouts cleared up, started using it again. I've got a little breakout right here on my chin, but we'll see. We'll keep, keep testing the theory as I said before and see how it does. Today I'm using less than I did last time because last time I used way too much. I got primer happy. <laughs> really kind of focusing right in here. That's where my worst pore problem is. I'm just going to wipe my fingers off of the tissue. And today I am going to use the Fenty again. I want to try a little less this time. I'm just going to pump just a little teeny tiny amount and then go from there. Yes, this is a little too light for me. Um, I did get shade match, so what does that tell you? I'm going to pump just a little bit more. And... And I think that's it. That might have been one full pump. So, but once I shear it out, it is not bad. But that just tells you, even getting shade matched like in Sephora or Ulta, it may not be your perfect, your perfect match. But I just. I'm lucky enough that shearing this out and not, you know, doing a full coverage situation, um, it works. It still works. As you can see, it's fine. But if I wanted it as a full coverage, no, no, no. <laughs> it will not work. I'm going to use my NYX concealer, the HD concealer today, because I do have a little darkness going on. As you can see, even up in here, for some reason I did not sleep too good. But I have discoloration around my eyes, so we'll use that today. It's a little more peachy. Oh, mercy. It is almost, well, it is the weekend, I guess. Almost the weekend. Today is, what, Thursday? I can't keep up with my days when I'm off work. I was off work yesterday. Um, to set that, I am going to try to use up my AOA powder. I'm trying to use up stuff. And I'm grabbing some brushes. That's not the one I need, but I'll need it later. And just going to tap into that. I'm going to lean forward so I don't get this on my work shirts. And just tapping that on. I'm trying a new palette today, so I'm going to put a little extra just in case there is some fallout. And where's that new brush? Haha, this is a new brush. The Flawless face brush from elf. I'm loving this brush. It fits down in this little pot perfect It lets me just get in there and pick up that powder and Finish setting my face with the same powder Yeah, if I tan any this is not gonna work <laughs> as you can see it's kind of it's kind of ghostly but bronzer and everything straightens it up and speaking of bronzer, I'm going to go ahead and do bronzer. I'm still using the LA Colors Pressed Powder. This is the shade Beige. But guys, if you saw my last kind of get ready with me try on video, this is a fantastic little pa uh, pan for bronzer. I mean, and it's a dollar. Look how pretty. The last time I went kind of happy on my forehead, so not today. Not today, Shannon. 
not today. Be careful. Because it is very, it's pigmented. And it's a dollar. All right. And I really like the little cap because it's got like a little lip on it there you can see and it just helps you get get it off the top easier all right so now let's go into the eyeshadow um, I'm always grabbing for my elf primer so that's what I grabbed and let's take a finger and smooth that out and I'm gonna grab the powder I always used to set that with, which is the little matte powder from Shop Masse, also a dollar. You know I got powder all over my black pants. <laughs> oh, Shannon. All right, now we're ready. The palette we're using is, <gasps> I've wanted this palette for so long. I know it's been out a long time, but I never did get my hands on it. I had a friend that almost sold me one, and I thought, no, I'll, I'll wait. There's other palettes I want, and then we got this at work. It was $16.99, and then I got my discount on it. And it does come with a little brush. I'm going to go ahead and take that out. Purple is one of my absolute favorite colors, and this palette is gorgeous. So we're going to get into it. <sighs> I know, I know. I'm going to take Exposed, which is the palest shade right here, and go up at my brow bone. Go ahead and get that on. It's done, you know. It'll be done. Brow bone's done. Same brush, just clean it off and switch. Oh, so many pretty colors. I think I'm going to come into Shazam, which is this one right here. Trying to get my ring light off of it. That is not, it's not matte. It's more of a satin, but you know what? It doesn't really matter to me. I don't have to have a matte as a transition shade. There is a lot of kick up from this. I will say that. I'll show you. Look at the other pan right here. So let me kind of tap into that a little easier. <laughs> and I'm just going to kind of try to pick up what was kicked up. I'm going to pick up what was kicked up. And that worked pretty well, picking what was kicked up. And I think that's pretty good. A little bit more color over here. I'm gonna come back to a smaller brushes. Give me all my usual suspects here. Mm, this is the BH Cosmetics number eight out of that quartz crystal set. <sighs> yes, I'm gonna blow on my palette. It's my palette. Nobody else uses it. It's, it's good. I'm gonna come into um gonna go really deep here really fast probably um well let's come into hot spell which is kind of this medium purple and then I'm gonna go over probably to this deeper purple so hot spell we'll see how this brush does in there and I have a challenge I need to do this week or um, the beginning of next week sometime soon because um, Susie's makeup tool cart, I got it right, Susan, um, has issued another challenge using the Modern Renaissance, and I need to get that one done. I'm going to come back with that brush, the blending brush, and just go over the edge. I'm going to come back with the number seven, and now I'm going to go into Ensemble, which is this really dark purple. Uh, I'm just going to lightly tap into that and see what we get, because I have never used these. And yes, she is dark. So I'm just going to kind of pat it on and then wiggle. Just staying kind of right in that corner, taking it over just a little bit. Pat it and then wiggle. Pat 
hats and wiggle. <laughs> that is my technique, people. Pat wiggle. <laughs> All right. Or you can do like a little circle. That'll help blend it like up. You can do the little circle like this way and kind of go up in your motion. That'll help bring it up. If you want to get it um, a little higher up on your crease there, I think that's pretty good. I don't really want to get it too much darker than that. I'm going to come back with some little shader brushes. Cleaning it off really good. i got to wash all these brushes. I didn't do it over the weekend like I was said I was going to. This is just a little pink one out of the BoxyCharm. I'm going to come into... Catalyst, which is this one. It's got some shimmer in it. You guys know I like my shimmer. I'm just barely picking up a little bit of that because it looks like it's going to be kind of dark too. And I'm just kind of staying right in that corner. Just like that. Wipe that off. I'm going to come back with a smaller brush. This was also a BoxyCharm brush. This was the Vintage. And... I'm going to come in with Mystify, which is this medium shade, and then I'm going to go into Persuasion, which is this nice shimmer down here. And I'm just kind of blending one shade over to the top of the other. Leaving that corner open. Clean that brush off, and I'm just gonna go over the edge and the crease where they meet. Now I'm gonna come in with Persuasion. I hope this is light enough for that corner to kind of brighten it up a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. It's okay. It's not as bright as I thought it was gonna be. And I do bring that shimmer shade up. That really helps kind of open my eyes. And I'll just take that same brush and kind of blend it over. And one last time with that blending brush. Come on, people. Blend out those edges. Soften them up. About to stick it in my eye. <laughs> All right, with a pencil brush, if I can find my little pencil brushes. There's one. There's two. These are the two I always use. I'm going to come in with the bigger one that's in the BH set and just go kind of back in with the colors that I used to start with. And I'm going to go into Hot Spell just on the tip of that brush. I like the names. And I'll go into Ensemble, which is the really dark one. And try not to make a hot mess. Guys, I was watching YouTube and the trailer for How to Train Your da Dragon 3 came up. Yes, 3. I'm so excited. I love the first two. You guys know I'm a movie buff. I love to watch movies. I did get a little bit of fallout, so I'm glad I put down the extra powder. This is the lightest shade, and I'm just taking it up to meet its brother there, or actually itself. And I'm going to take the ensemble, which is the darkest color in the palette, and just kind of come right back up here at the lash line. Just to give that a little deep, deep depth, deep depth. <laughs> but that's it for that palette, I think. Um, super, super, super pretty. I'm glad I got to grab that one finally. Put it down in my drawer and lower people look at my pants in my shirt. After I said, I'm going to lean over. Alright, um, blush. I'm going to use 
a blush. This came out of one of the um, Deck of Scarlet palettes. Miss Susie from Susan, Susie's Makeup Tool Cart sent me two of them and I depotted um, the powders. I didn't keep the lip products because I just don't use potted lip products. So I did keep um, all the pans. I depotted them. I have to get the glue off the back now. So that'll be another little project. But um, I don't know which one this came out of, but it is a really pretty kind of baby pink. I'm just going to tap into that and stay on the apple. Just like that. So yeah, I depotted all of those. So now I have to find, I'm going to have to buy me a little magnetic palette to put them in. Um, let's grab some mascara. I'm going to grab Double Decker. And let me find a mirror so I'm not poking myself in the eye like I usually do. Alright guys, so Double Decker. I love this mascara. It is thick. It makes your lashes really dark. And there's like a little glob on the end. I'm going to get that off before I get it on me. And got it on my finger. I can handle that. I have a little baby eyelash that is pointing kind of down. I'm going to have to yank that thing out because it is, it'll be bugging me before the day's over. All right, so let me um, clean up my fingertip here. And there is that kilowatts. And you know what? With the kilowatts, I'm going to take, where's that baby brush I had? I think I'm going to take the um, Sangria Sunset because I I used that as my highlight the other day, but just a little bit. I'm just going to pop a little bit of that in the center. Not a lot, just enough to kind of give it a little something something on my eyes. And I'll take my highlight brush and I'm going to stay in that one and just very lightly because this does have color. So if you go full on, you're just going to have a big streak, streak of pink. So just very, I mean, just very lightly. See, just very lightly. All right, so there's kilowatts, and I still have some mascara on my finger. Um, brows. Believe it or not, guys, I have just kind of been letting my brows do their thing, and no product in them. I need to get the e.l.f. clear gel again, because I really like that one for days. I just wanted my brows to be my brows, and nothing in them. Just kind of helped lay them down, because my brows don't need a whole lot of work. They really don't. I was blessed in that department. And that was about the only department <laughs> for lips. Um, I am going to use the Fenty Glow because I love that one. And I have the baby one floating around here somewhere. And I need to tuck that one in my purse so I can take that one with me. And I'm just going to put a little bit on because that dofa is loaded. And I don't need a whole lot of lip gloss. All right, so there is the Fenty Lip Gloss. It's time for some clean tissues over here. I've used them and used them and used them. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to take my little face brush one more time. And just sweep away any extra powder that's still there. Kind of blend everything together. And that will leave a mark in my hair, but it's okay because I'm going to pin it up anyway for work. If I can get it back out of there. Got to find the top of it. Yeah, I'm going to pin this back for work, so it doesn't really matter if it left, left a mark in there. 
All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I love that palette. Purples are my favorite colors. Purples and greens, kind of aquas, um, teals, and purples. Those are like my favorite colors, and I've really gotten into blush colors, just the really simple, um, like naked blush, like in purses and shoes and jewelry, that kind of thing. Lipstick colors. Just blending some more. You can't blend enough, people. Well, maybe I guess you can, but that's it. I gotta finish getting ready for work. And um, what's going on in the world? I'll tell you what's going on in the world. I have an open giveaway going. It was a pop-up giveaway, and it is a few videos back, but I will leave that video link down below so you can enter into that. And you do have to use the Gleam link that is under that video in the description box. You have to use the Gleam link. You have to be subscribed. Do not unsubscribe or you will be disqualified for any future giveaways. And you have to be 18 years or older or have your parents' permission. So it does ask for an age. So if you're under age and you're wanting to enter, one of your parents must enter their, their birthday for that. So just keep that in mind. It is for the United States only on this one. Um, and I think that's about it. Um, but yeah, just check out that video for everything. Um, if you want to skip ahead to the end, it will tell you what you're going to get there at the end. And the Gleam link is down below. So, yep, as always, thanks for watching, guys. Hit that subscribe button and check out that giveaway video. And I'll see you guys on the next one.